And we are announcing today Redshift Spectrum that allows you to run complex data warehouse queries directly on data in S3. Yes, it's actually a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah, and so what you can see is that Redshift, you can actually extend Redshift queries, point them. If you're using, uh, hey, of course, you have to register your data sources that are living in S3 with the data catalog, with the Glue data catalog. If you do that, you can, inside Redshift, if you build your queries, you can point to external tables that lives in S3 and out of, without any changes, actually run complex data warehouse queries where the, most of the data lives in S3 and the other data lives in Redshift itself. Yeah, so often you will use, keep your dimension tables and you'll keep your fact tables in Redshift itself, maybe stored locally, and then access data that lives in S3. So we've done this test for you. Yeah, this is a very complex uh, query against an exabyte of data, an exabyte of data in S3. Yeah? It's a number of tables, and this is a typical sort of what I would call a data warehouse query. Yeah? Multiple joins, grouping by columns, order by, uh, you know, numbers of limits and aggregations, all in one query together. If you run this on an exabyte and you use Hive, with a highly sort of targeted built application there, this query will take five years to complete if you use a thousand nodes. Yeah? Complex queries using Hive, a thousand nodes, five years. Can you, by the way, figure out what five years of a thousand nodes will cost you? <laughs> I think it's fine, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Spectrum, however, yeah, takes 155 seconds. Wow. Two. to run this complex query on an exabyte of data. Yeah, and it will cost you a few hundred bucks to do this on an exabyte of data. Yeah. This really allows you to build your data lake inside Amazon S3 and run extremely complex data warehouse queries directly on top of this.